He was chief amongst nightmares, prowling the endless corridors and innumerable rooms, stalking helpless souls. It's not a laughing matter, you see. He takes his job very seriously. <laughs> but I can laugh. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, behold, a clown. Does he make you laugh? No, I find him quite amusing in his own special way. Look at his meager stature, his plain and dull face. Listen to his weak, trembling voice as he's trying in vain to entertain you. But entertain you he will, as he is nature's greatest joke. What is he up to now? He can move, you know. That's a good boy. I think. Yes, definitely. He's trying to... Well, he's trying to kick those pipes, but... Oh, I get it. He wants to repair the toy maker's pipe system. A bomb dispenser. Who put that there? Do you think he can do something with it? I don't know, like kick the bomb into my minions. Oh, the irony! If only I cared for those wretched souls trapped in the lifeless husks. I don't, if you're still wondering. I don't think he has it in him. Oh, you disagree? Maybe a gentlemanly bet then. I win, you bring me a puppy. Why? I need him for a mm, social experiment. If I lose, well, let's not get ahead of ourselves, shall we? What do you know? He made it. No puppies for me, I guess. What does he want with those pipes anyway? Is this one of his elaborate jokes? Or a punchline? Does this seem remotely funny to you? Kicking pipes? I think not. Do you want to know what I think? I think he finally lost his marbles, and he's probably looking for them in the sewer as he's not a big fan of metaphors. For now, let's follow him. Ooh, the plot thickens. It seems he actually tries to achieve something. Those pipes, there's chemicals in them. I know because I'm the one who put them there. Nothing you should concern yourself with. This will become boring fast. Let's make it more interesting. Send the minions in. They'll make short work of him. Where does he hold all those bombs? I don't know. Probably got something to do with the quantum mechanics of a clown car. Well, well. He's getting something done. Haven't seen him so worked up since... Hmm. Now that you mention it, I haven't seen him worked up at all. He's rather the sulk in the corner type. This is new to both of us. Let's savor the moment. He's trying to make a concoction of sorts, I think. But he hasn't a glimmer of a spark of a ray of ingenuity in him. I know. I checked when I ripped his soul from his mortal vessel. I always do. I think this slime is used to do some nasty things down on the forbidden levels. He should watch out. It's quite volatile. Excellent! With our help, he created a confusion gas. And strangely, strangely lost in thought. Like, like he's remembering something. Better send some minions to mop him up before he comes to. Confusion set in. It wasn't always this way, was it? Surely not. Surely he was once a great, renowned clown. Oh... 
he wasn't. He couldn't make people laugh, no matter how hard he tried. Shame, really. He drifted from circus to circus until depression finally drove him to the Emporium. Touching story, really. Hit all the right heartstrings. Too bad we won't see it through to the end. If inhaled in large quantities, the gas is quite deadly. It's the secret ingredient X doing its job. Shh, just don't tell anyone. Anyway, I don't think he has the will or the wit to escape this one. The gloves are off. No more Mr. Ah, who am I kidding? I wasn't that nice to begin with. Let me see, who can I? Ah, yes, the wrestler, the she-giant. She'll make quick work of this unfunny little man. In retrospect, maybe sending a CQC combatant against a clown that can kick bombs and confuse you wasn't my best idea. You live and you learn, as they say. We'll be missing you, wrestler. As for you, clown, I'm done with your... Mm, clowning. There's a different saying, too. Want to hear it? I bet you do. When you can't kill a clown in a fair fight, collapse a ceiling on his head. No, no, people actually say that, trust me. One, two, three, four, and five. Yes, those are the structural pillars. How do I know? I tormented an architect for over a century. But enough about me. Back to the pillars. Once they're all gone, so is the ceiling. Simple? Simple. Get to work, minions. What? How... How can we be out of minions? It's not like there's a shortage of lost wretched souls. I'll have a word with the toy maker. I promise you that. And as for you, you've done it. I'm coming for you, clown. Personally. You've tried my patience one time too often. The fun ends here. Did you hear the one about the bomb and the guy who got blown to bits? <laughs> Enjoy your little victory. You've cost me another one of my treasured enforcers, and that's it. I've got loads of things. Yes, things like you. Stabby things, clawy things, all sorts of nasty things just waiting in line to replace him or you. And as for me, did you think you could actually harm me? I thought you smarter than that. There will be no jokes from here on the end. I'm finished with you. I won't waste my time on you. To me, you might as well be dead. Because sooner or later, one of those things will catch up to you, and you know what? You will be. Dead, that is. This was pointless, he realized at last. He would kill and kill and kill. And when he got tired, he would be replaced by one such as this. Life was a big joke, and he was the punchline. There was no escape. <laughs> he couldn't stop laughing. <laughs> but he wouldn't dream of running. The Emporium liked to watch helpless people die. Would it like it equally much if it was its torturers, its pets, that were doing the dying? It seems he would have the last laugh after all.